Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make a cylindrical sheet metal part in Autodesk Inventor sheet metal and then how to construct its flat pattern. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard sheet metal part in millimeter and go to create. Now from here, take the 2D sketch and select the XY plane. Go to line command. From this center point, make a straight vertical line and scale. Go to dimensions. The dimension of this line will be 250 mm. Okay. Skip. Go to line command once again and make one more line till here. Go to dimension. The length of this will also 250 mm. Now escape. Now select this line, make it a center line. So just click on this center line. So the profile will change. <coughs> Go to dimension, select this line and select here. So it will by default select the diameter. Click here and give the diameter as 240. Okay. Now this is fully defined. Now finish sketch and in sheet metal. We will select the counter roll. So it will ask you the roll uh, rolled angle as it is by default 360. If it change to 90, the roll will be till 90. If it change to 125, 175, or change it to 360. Okay. So it will be a cylindrical profile. From top, we will see. Okay. Now apply, exit, go to home. Now you can see it is a closed profile, but we want a cut to open the sheet. So to make a cut, we will use the rip command. Now go to 2D sketch, go to origin and select the XY plane. <coughs> go to project geometry, rotate and here this will be the this line will be the previous sketch which we have made this sketch one line okay so this is projected skip now finish sketch and here first go to sheet metal defaults and here we will check the thickness of the sheet the by default thickness is 0.5 mm uncheck this and here we will take 5 mm as thickness and apply okay now you can see the thickness is applied inside exit now go to rip command so it will uh, ask you the point from which you want to rip or cut the sheet so we'll select this face first then the rip point so this will be the rip point now you can see the sheet will be cut up to the thickness of the sheet the normal gap distance 5 mm. As we have taken the sheet thickness as 5 mm, so this will be also 5 mm. And apply. Exit. <coughs> now, if you want to open the sheet, it will be made. So first, we will make the pattern. So to make the, the circular patterns, we will go to unfold. So it will ask you the stationary face the stationary face will be the solid face, this flat face. So select this plane. Now it will ask you the bends you want to open. Here click on add all bends and OK. OK. So a flat sheet will be made. Select this face, go to create sketch. Now we will make the circular patterns. Go to circle command. Here will find the center point. This green point is always the center point. So drag it till here. Make a circle here of dia 70. <coughs> and make one circle here of dia 25 mm. Okay. Now go to horizontal constraint. From here we will select this yellow point. This will be the center point. And select the center. Okay. Now go to vertical constraint, 
here select this yellow point and select this end it is fully defined now we want to align this circle also so select this center and select this center okay now go to dimension from top edge this dimension will be 35 mm and escape <coughs> now we want to pattern both the circles so go to a rectangular pattern select this circle first go to direction 1 select this as direction so you can see the direction is towards right you can see the circle profile over here also take the count as 7 and the center to center distance will be 58 mm ok we want the same pattern this side also so click on direction 2 click on this edge and here flip the direction and give a count of 7 <coughs> and 58 ok the gap is not defined ok and press ok now we want to pattern this this side also so go to line command make a center line passing through this escape so this will be reference line select this line make it a construction geometry ok now go to mirror select this complete profile of holes go to mirror line and select the center line apply and done ok you can see the mirror now we will make a pattern of this hole so go to rectangular pattern select this hole go to direction 1 select this line here take a count of 3 and the center to center distance here will be 153 mm Go to direction 2, select this line and here count of 3 and here count will be 153 mm. Flip the direction. So this side, these two circles will be applied and ok. So this will be the complete profile and select this profile. Select all the yellow lines. These are the projected geometry lines and make them construction. Ok. Now finish sketch, go to extrude command, now make a window over here, so it will by default select only the circle profiles, make a cut and ok, so this will be the cut profile. Now we want to go back to the cylindrical part, <clears throat> so go to sheet metal, now here go to refold, so it will again ask you the stationary face. So this flat face, select this, will be the stationary face and here click add all bends. So it will back to the cylindrical part, apply, exit, ok. Now you can define the color, from here I will take opal, click op, so it will click to opal and enter, ok. Now if you want to make the flat pattern of this, so from here click create flat pattern, it will generate the flat pattern of the sheet. Now go back to the folded part, ok. So this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a cylindrical part in Autodesk Inventor sheet metal and how to construct the whole patterns in Autodesk Inventor sheet metal. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.